hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this book cover so if you're interested keep watching and if this is your first time here i would like you to hit the subscribe button for more tutorial videos also if you like the content of this video please give it a thumbs up and let's get straight into the video So first of all, before you begin anything, you want to select your paper size. I'm going to be using A5 for this book. And next, I'll be creating a box by double clicking on the rectangle tool. And then you just go ahead and type your text. I'm going to type them together and break them apart when I'm done. I'm just going to type everything out before I start designing. And then I'm going to insert a picture, either by going to File Explorer or Import here. Select the image. I'm going to be copying it and pasting it in CorelDRAW. And I'm going to place it inside this box by right clicking on the image and dragging it towards the box and click on power clip inside. To edit contents, right click on it and select edit contents. This way I can adjust the image inside the box. And after that, I right click on it again and click on finish editing this level. Now to break apart, you hit Ctrl K on your keyboard. And notice each line is on their own right now, so you can move them separately. But I'm going to undo that because my and as a guide has to go together. So I'm just going to cut out the last line out of it. And I can start changing the fonts and resizing them. I'm going to give it a black outline by right clicking on black color and then come over to outline pen to adjust it. I'm going to make the outline thick, make it have curved edges and scale its image. Remember, whenever a box is covering your text, you just hit Ctrl page down and it's going to go back.
Next, I'm going to select the first box and convert it to bitmaps. I always use RGB while converting. And when we go back to bitmaps, click on 3D effect and 3D rotate. And I click on preview to see the way it is. This is exactly how I want it, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to do the same on this other box, convert it to bitmaps, and apply that effect. So guys, this is it. I'm just going to convert this image into PNG format. And to do that, select the image, go to export. Type in the new name. And on the file location, select PNG. And then click on export. Now it has been exported, so we can go see how the picture looks like. And this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so for more video tutorials like this. Also, if you're interested, you can get this book on Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description.